Hi guys, let's get started. So I do have my base makeup on already. Um, I didn't do a primer, but I have the Body Shop Tea Tree Flawless BB Cream on right now. And because I wanted a little more coverage and to be a little bit more flawless, I did try the Ulta Mineral Powder Foundation on top of it. So this is kind of what I have on for face makeup. It's still pretty light, but I'm just kind of testing this out for vacation. I'm trying to narrow down my list of products to bring and it's, it's really difficult. But I applied the BB cream with the Real Technique sponge because um, I know I mentioned it kind of got splotchy when I do it with my fingers. So it does work better with the sponge. Um, I was going to say Beauty Blender. Then for my brows, I have my Anastasia Dip Brow on, of course. Um, and I have my Too Faced Shadow Insurance on for eye primer. So I am going to be taking my Lorac Pro 2 palette. Before we do that, though, let me show you what we are actually going to be... I guess using as like a reference picture or what I'm using as a reference picture for this look. Sorry if you can hear Missy. She's eating and her bowl, her bowl's metal and then her dog tag is metal. So it makes noise. Okay. It took me a minute, but I found it. So this is the reference picture. Like I said, every time I click it, it just leads to a spam website. Ugh, my window is creating a glare, but it's just a really pretty purple smoky eye with like a silver, um, lower lash line and the liner is actually like a navy blue color so this is kind of what I was using as a reference picture and I just used the Lorac Pro 2 palette for it so first things first um, she does have some warmth like in her crease so I'm going to be taking the light brown color out of here and my palette I'm not gonna be able to really hold it up very much because that this color right here is just smashed pieces but I'm gonna take light brown and just really lightly put that in the crease I've done this look too with a really light dusty pink color in the crease and it's really pretty too but this just kind of adds a little bit more warmth than the dusty pink does. Um, so that is an option too. And I'm just going to lightly work that into the crease, blend it up and out. Oh the Lorac shadows are so good. I love this. I love this color. It blends out so nicely for me. Sorry, Missy's being a little, a little stinker. This might be another problem we're going to have during the video. The sun is just coming right in that light and it gets really bright at times. But it helps with my lighting, so I don't necessarily want to block it out. Um, but I just have light brown in the crease right now, so we're going to move on to the lid color. Um, I'm going to take a Sigma just shader brush and I'm going to take the plum color out of here. And we are just going to pack that on the lid. And I would actually like kind of pat too. You don't want to have a ton of fallout or at least I know I don't because I already have my foundation on. This wouldn't be a bad look to wait and do your foundation last, but I've been kind of trying different foundation combinations out lately and I'm just... And like my favorite thing to do about makeup lately has been my foundation. Okay, so there's one eye. I did kind of stay out of the inner corner because I don't want that to get dark. Just I'd rather keep it kind of on the lighter side. So for her crease color, she has that little bit of warmth poking out from the light brown color, but there does seem like it's kind of a purpley gray color in the actual like crease. So I am taking the Sigma E25 and I'm going to take, I might do a mix here, but I'm going to try to just stick with cool gray because it is kind of more of a purpley gray color, but charcoal is a little darker, so I may do a mix. I think last time though, I just stuck with cool gray. So we're going to start with cool gray and see how that goes. And the sun is out again, so it's really bright. Yeah, cool gray should be good. I don't think we'll need to do charcoal. May have to build it up a little bit, but it'll work. Okay. 
Okay. And then just to blend a little bit, I'm going to take my crease brush again and dip very, very lightly into soft brown or light brown and just take like a tiny little bit of product. And I'm actually going to tap that off too, just to make sure. And I'm just going to go around the edges and blend a little bit. Okay, and then this step is optional. I'm just going to, just because I want to make sure you can tell that this lid color is purple. So I'm going to take my shader brush again and go back in with Plum and just, you know, pack it on the lid a little bit more just to make sure, you know, it didn't get blended away when I put that cool gray color in there and just make it as, you know, vivid as I can get it. And I'm kind of just staying lower on the lid. Like I'm trying to stay away from my crease in the outer half. Now we're moving on to the lower lash line. So in the reference picture, it looks like a really dark gray and then it gets kind of into a silver color. So I am going to dip into charcoal for that and use that on the outer half. And I'm just taking a little pencil brush um, and just smudging that on the outer half of the lower lash line. Hers looks almost like a blue gray, so you could use something, and it's definitely shimmery in the picture too. Um, so you could use something like that. I think I might have tried using chrome, but chrome is a little too taupey colored for what I was going for. So I'm just going to stick with charcoal because it's darker, it is a little cooler toned, a little more blue. Um, it's just not shimmery. Which I'm kind of okay with. Okay, so now she's got that really bright silver color, um, pretty much from the, on the whole inner half, really. She brings the purple all the way into her inner corner, which I'm not going to do that. Um, I'm going to take silver from the palette, and I'm going to do that on the inner half, and then I'm going to do snow on the actual inner corner. So I'm taking silver, and I'm just going to do this little inner half right here. Just kind of blend it into the charcoal. And like I said, I'm going to do Snow, the color that's broken my palette on the inner corner, just because it's a really nice light highlight color. But I'm going to grab a different brush. I found the brush. Sorry, that was Missy. I found the brush I was looking for. This is the Avon, like, it's like a rounded eyeshadow brush. Um, and this is my favorite for the inner corner because you literally just stamp it in there and it's pretty much perfect. You might have to blend a little bit, but not much. So I'm just taking a little bit of snow on that brush and I'm just going to apply that to the inner corner. And next I would do liner, but I'm going to do my brows really quick. Um, you could use the buff color in this palette as a brow highlight, but it's a little yellowy for my liking, this one right here. You could use snow too, but snow is really shimmery and kind of almost metallic-like. So I'm just going to pull a color from another palette or something. Um, let me just see what I have in here. I'm going to take my Chocolate Bonbons palette and I'm just going to use the Div Divinity color down here. This is just a matte, like off-white color. It's got a little bit of a sheen to it, so maybe it's more of a satin, but I'm going to use that as a brow highlight just because buff is a little too yellowy for me. It's not terrible, but I don't love it. So I'm going to use this as my brow highlight. Yeah, it does have a little bit of a sheen to it, so it's kind of more of a satin. Alright, as much as it sucks, I had to shut the curtains. It was just too bright. The light was just in my face constantly. So, now that we are this far... I'm going to do my liner first. I was going to do concealer, but do liner first. Um, I'm going to take my Urban Decay Sabbath pencil liner. This is a really pretty navy blue. I'm going to use this as a base, and then I'm going to actually top it with the navy color from the Lorac Pro 2 palette. So I'm going to start with this. I'm just going to line my upper lash line. I'm not going to do anything special. I'm not going to wing it out. I think hers is winged out. Um, yes, and it's really pretty. I just don't feel like doing winged liner today. I'm just...
Alright, so now that I have Sabbath on, I'm going to take the navy color out of this palette and just a little angled brush and kind of pop it on top. The navy eyeshadow is brighter than Sabbath, so it kind of, it makes the liner pop a little bit more, so that's why I do set it with the navy shadow, because it just, it pops it out a little bit more, and it's a little more noticeable then. It doesn't look like I just have a black eyeliner on. And this is where Fallout City ends up happening, because this navy color is just... I don't know, it's really pretty, but no matter how much I tap it off, there is Fallout. To concealer. So, since the under, or since the eye makeup is so dark, I don't want to do a super bright under eye. I think it's just too much of a contrast. So instead of doing my Makeup Forever HD concealer, I'm going to do the Maybelline Master Conceal. This is a little closer than to my actual skin tone, so it's not quite as brightening, um, but it's still got really good coverage, and I would say they kind of seem very similar to me. Um, they just remind me a lot of each other. I just put a little dab of that under each eye. And then I'm going to take my BH Cosmetics 115 brush and blend that out. This has been my favorite concealer brush ever lately. Alright, to set the under eye concealer now, I'm going to take my NYX Radiant Finishing Powder and Real Techniques Setting Brush and use this to set the under eye. This powder can come off really ashy and white, so I make sure that once I swirl my brush around in there, I kind of go back through the yellow shade to get some colors to kind of warm it up a little bit. And I find that this is pretty much the best way to get this to work for me because then it doesn't look white so that way it's a little bit highlighting but it's not straight up white on the under eyes um, now that that is all set and everything we can move on to mascara I'm gonna do I'm gonna do my Rim, Rimmel Scandal Eyes Retro Glam I've been trying this out I'm not super impressed with it I don't like it as much as the Too Faced Better Than Sex however this is like my second or third time using it so it's pretty freshly open mascara it might get better as it goes um, but I'm just gonna go ahead and do my upper and lower lashes with this It's really not too bad. It's pretty nice. I just want it to be like a little bit more volumizing I think and just a little more lengthening. But I guess we'll just kind of see as it goes on. Alright so now that the eyes are completely done moving on to the rest of the face. You could contour and do all that stuff if you want to. I would probably even recommend applying a little bit of bronzer so you don't look so pale but I don't want to I'm really in just this minimal makeup mood right now which is kind of weird because I have a smoky eye on but um I just don't feel like doing bronzer today so I'm going to take this blush right here it is the wet n wild ombre blush in the princess daiquiris this just kind of warms up my face for me it just gives me a nice like healthy glow to my skin so this is kind of something I can do to to not have to apply bronzer but you know look alive and not look so pasty and pale and kind of close to dead. So I'm just going to take this on a little Sigma blush brush. This blush though is amazing. It is my favorite blush that I have ever purchased I think. I have not found anything about it that I don't like. So this is the blush on. I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see it super well on camera but I mean you can see it just kind of gives my skin some some life. Um, so now moving on to highlighters. I'm gonna take, 
trying to decide what brush I want to use. I think I'm just going to take my little Smashbox fan brush. I think the first time I did this I used ColourPop Fanny which is this really pretty like silvery white icy highlight. It's beautiful. It would look really pretty with like the snow color on the inner corner. But I don't know. I just don't love it with this blush color and I feel like I need the blush to kind of liven up my face. So I'm going to be trying something a little bit different. I'm going to be using the Makeup Revolution Vivid Baked Highlighter and this is in the color Radiant Lights. It's kind of a pinky, pinky champagne-y color. Um, it's really, really subtle and that's kind of more what I kind of want for today. So I'm going to take my little Smashbox fan brush, sweep it back and forth in there, tap off some of the excess because it's a little powdery, and just sweep that on the tops of the cheekbones. Yeah, and I like this already. I can tell it's going to be a lot better than Fanny Pack originally kind of was. I like it a little bit better with this look. And actually on camera, like I know I told you guys in my haul video that this was really subtle, but it's actually not. Although you guys probably don't know what I'm talking about because I filmed the haul video yesterday and I'm not going to upload it until sometime next week. So you guys won't see the haul video, I guess, by the time I upload this, but you'll know what I'm talking about soon. <laughs> and I'm going to take a little bit and go down the center of my nose with it. And then do my Cupid's bow. And I'll do below the lower lip too. So that is with highlighter on and everything. So we're on to the last step then. The last step I used Smashbox. This is the lipstick in, the Be Legendary lipstick in Pretty Social. Um, this was on clearance at my Ulta so I don't know if, I think they still make this color but I think maybe they just reformulate it or something um, but I don't really see any difference. So it's just a really nude pink so you could use MAC Cream Cup, anything like that. Um, you could use Angel. I just know personally I'm not a huge fan of Angel because it's got glitter in it. Um, but I didn't even do lip liner or anything. I just literally applied this and went. This is the finished look. So I think it looks really nice. It's a, just a really pretty smoky eye and it's really not that hard to do. Um, but it's kind of one of those things too where like the liner, it's really subtle, but once you're up close and kind of can see it more, it's like something that just adds kind of a unique pop to it since it is a pretty navy blue and you have the purple on the lid and the silver on the lower lash line. It's just really, really pretty. I love this look. Um, if you guys do know who the original you know, picture is from, please let me know. Um, cause I'd love to give them credit for it, but it, every time I click on the picture on Pinterest, it takes me to some kind of like spam page and it has, doesn't even have the picture on the page. So I can't find out who did it. I don't see like any kind of watermarks or anything. Um, so if you guys know who did it, please let me know and I will give them credit below. But I just kind of took the picture and kind of recreated it with the Lorac Pro 2 palette, just kind of see if I could and I think I did a pretty good job so anyways thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next time